Yo, what is up Team Rosine 24 View? We are back here in the shop with another video for you here today. And I want to quickly start off by saying thank you to everybody who participated in the last giveaway where we were giving away either our 2017 FT50 Platinum or the 96 12 valve 5 speed Frosty. But today we're in the shop because I am painting a custom dash bezel for a customer who said that they love Rosine's dash bezel. So he wanted me to basically recreate that. Um, for him. So what I have here is another dash bezel. And I got some paint, but super cold. So I really do hate like painting when it's cold out um, just because I feel like for some reason the paint just doesn't work the way I want it to. Uh, but I did do rosines when it was cold and I hope I have a better experience this round because um, I kept the red paint inside. It hasn't been out in the shop at all. Uh, the only paint that has been out is black. So what I'm hoping is, you know, by me keeping everything inside and then just taking it out to the shop as I work, um, that that will help. But right now what we got to do is we got to put a, I know you guys are going to like look at me and think I'm weird because the dash bezel is obviously already black. But the reason that I do a coat or I, I guess a base coat of black is because it's glossy and I don't want... One, I don't want the first layer to look like it's matte when I go to put on the red paint because the red paint is glossy as well. So I feel like it would look really weird if I had like a matte black background and then like glossy red. So I'm going to make sure that both the paints are glossy. And also with my experience, I've noticed that the red paint actually sticks better when I do a base coat and do the splatter paint because once I do the splatter paint, it's done. I can't do a second coat. Like I can't go back over the splatter paint. Like I can't get obviously in the exact same spots that I got before. It, that would be absolutely impossible unless I want to go back with like a paintbrush or something. But that would be really challenging. So let's get into doing the base coat and then I'll probably have to let it dry for an hour or two um, just to be safe. And then we'll get to the red splatter paint, which is probably the, I guess, the best part of it all because it's super fun to do. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how simple it is. And if you've seen any of the other videos that I've done, I did the Chevy dash bezel as well in the glove box. That So I just want you guys to keep in mind, like, you don't have to do a solid color. You don't have to do splatter paint. You can do whatever you want to your dash bezels. And that's what's so fun about it, I think, that because you can just do it however you want. If you want to do stripes, you want to do stars, you want to do spots, you want to do splatter, it doesn't matter. You can do whatever, you know, you want with the dash bezels and customize it however you want. So let's talk no longer and let's get into doing the base coat. Alright guys, so we got the dash bezel done and I think it looks pretty good. It's basically been drying and I'm just waiting to ship it out. It's been taking a little bit more than I thought because of Christmas and New Year's and everything right around the corner. So I had a lot of family events going on. So um, I'm going to package that up and take it to the post office so we can ship that out to the customer. Alright guys, so I know the position of the camera is kind of awkward. It's because I have no idea where Mac I put the tripod. And I'm going to let you guys know, if you didn't know already, we do have two trucks up for grabs for this current giveaway. We have a 2015 6.7 Cummins and then a, I believe it's a 96 12 valve of uh, five speed named Frosty. If you choose Frosty, you do get $5,000 cash, but if you do choose a fortune, you do not get the cash. The cash is just kind of like a little bonus if you pick Frosty. But for this giveaway, we're doing every $5 is 10 entries. So you're going to get plenty of entries for your money. And then I also want to, <laughs> and then I also wanted to introduce somebody else to the family, but he's currently eating something. <sighs> he grabs everything he possibly can eat. But if you haven't seen him on Loud Prowl, this is Bear. This is the Golden Retriever puppy I got maybe four weeks ago now. He is just turning three months old. 
and he's a big boy as you can see. Uh, he's bigger than any other Goldens that I ever had in the past and his paws are humongous. Like his paws are huge. So I think he's going to be a big boy. I think he's going to be close to 90 to 100 pounds. <laughs> he's doing good so far. He loves to stay outside. He hardly wants to come in and um, he's doing well in his potty training. We've had a couple accidents. But he goes everywhere with us when we travel, you know, to Ohio or down south or whatever. He always comes with us, super good in the car. Couldn't ask for a better puppy because he just sleeps the whole entire time. Um, and when I put it outside, he goes right to the bathroom. So, couldn't ask for a better scenario. But um, also, I have other exciting news I didn't tell you guys yet. I guess my channel is what? I didn't tell my channel yet, is me and Malachi are looking at a property in Ohio. So we will be moving here at the end of February. So it's gonna get really hectic. So I apologize in advance for that. If it's, I have a lot going on and I'll get as many videos as um, I'd like to out or for some reason I just kind of disappear from social media. Uh, right now, I'm just getting over the busyness of the holidays. So hopefully we can get back on track with everything and I got a new puppy. So that's another reason why um, everything's kind of been kind of hectic and I'm just now getting over a cold so if you think I sound weird and sound like I'm talking through my nose that's why but anyways guys I want to let you guys know that we also have an LMP kids tab now so if you have kids who you know want like loud and proud merch or even babies I have put onesies on there three different onesies and so far I only have um, one youth t-shirt but if you have kids or you have um, a baby and you want to get injuries and you like our stuff um, I think they're pretty funny uh, one of them says certified to be loud you know it's been on our t-shirt forever but we that'd be hilarious on a onesie so we did that and um, yeah I liked how they turned out I've been working on that for a while uh, there will be more on that tab I promise you there will be a lot more options to choose from but I'm just I'm just trying to do little by little um, to get you know more out there and then as well as put more diesel bay products out there so don't forget to get your entries while you can if you want to enter all you got to do is go hit that link down in the description guys thank you so much for watching let me know down below guys what you think about the dash did it turn out good or um what do you whatever you think <laughs> please leave a like on this video subscribe if you have not already and join the family and i will catch you in the next video don't you see it, I'm sure. Cause when I